Hey, hey guys, we're here tonight. We're doing a little quick talk about Instagram. Lindsay's a pretty much a pro. I teach her a few things, but you know, <laughs> we're, we're, we're both pretty much pros at it. So we thought we'd share our tips with you. If you're not on Instagram, you want to be on Instagram, right? Yes. Instagram, just you go to your app store, download the Instagram little app, and then you want to go to your sign up. So basically you put in your email and you create a password. It's just that simple. Once you're in there, you're going to create a profile. So, let me just get this up here. You're going to pick a picture of yourself. You're going to put it in the top corner. You're going to write a little description. And so in the description, <clears throat> you're going to want to write something like... Mine says, LipSense dis Distributor. LipSense is a lipstick that's waterproof, smudge-proof, and kiss-proof. Shop for the color in the link below, and then I just have my you, my ID number, and then I have a little link for Cinegen. So that way they can go to your thecinegens.com, they can start ordering. Click right there and <clears throat> put in your ID number and they can shop. So that's really cool. One of the key things is you want to have a picture of yourself, a profile photo. You don't want to have an avatar or a picture of a pet or anything like that because people buy from people and they're going to want to see a real person in that little circle. So really important for that. So we're going to share a few tips with you as far as, you know, what you should be posting. I'm going to grab the camera here and we're going to hold it so you can actually see Lindsay's phone screen so it's a little easier. So just give me one second. All right, so Lindsay's going to make sure that that's good. Okay, so I will go to the search bar right here. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. And I'm basically... I don't follow these people, but I'm just going to click on random pictures, and I'm just going to start liking things. So Lindsay likes a lot of makeup, so a lot of makeup will show up in her news feed. So depending on what you like, I mean, that's what's going to kind of start showing up. <laughs> so you just click on the screen like that. And then whatever I do really like, then I can follow. Super easy. So the whole idea behind following in return, a lot of people are going to come back and follow you. That's how Instagram works. So we just did this a minute ago on Lindsay's phone and she already received a new follower. So if you can start seeing, you know, 10 new followers a day, that's really, really good for you. So spend a good 10 minutes at night following other people. And then we're going to go back to Lindsay's main page. <clears throat> so on your main page, you're going to want to put quotes, you know, product information, you can do selfies of yourself and say, this is the color I'm wearing. And then in your description, you're going to want to do the hashtags. So Lindsay's going to click on one. So this was my Valentine's. Um, I did hashtag kiss proof, waterproof, Valentine's makeup, Valentine's ready, Valentine's lipstick, lip gloss, pink lips, cute, and beauty. So you just pick random words and... Pretty much just put them under your pictures. So what happens is people will go and hit search and say they're looking for pink lip stuff. Lindsay's would come up because she put pink lips. So that's how the hashtags work. It's really important to have those hashtags in there. Okay, we're going to come back to ourselves real quick. That's just a quick screen of what it looks like. So the importance of the hashtag, which is the number sign, you know, dick, 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 that's a hashtag is being creative. So if you love dogs and cats and you're putting dogs and cats in your posts because that's what you love, then put dogs in your, your hashtags. If you love to go to the beach, put the beach in there. And, you know, quotes are really, you know, people drawn to quotes, like what were we saying? Um, live, love, laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, things that are really popular, you're going to put those in your hashtag. Faith, if you want to put in stuff about, you know, God and stuff, faith, mm -hmm. those kinds of things will draw more people also to your page. But for me, I'm a homeschooling mom, so what one of the girls I follow did a big training on Instagram. And so you really want to be putting a good 20 hashtags, and you want to get real creative if you want to hit the women, you know, our age, Lindsay's age. Mm -hmm. You can put in their mom, brides, weddings, yeah, brides, makeup. weddings. Homeschooling mom, camping, um, like random words. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's just think of the things that people do and get those words, those hashtags, and hashtag it. Mm -hmm. And you will start to see what's working and what's not working and stick to the things that are working. Yeah. Maybe what, what did you say? You do a lot of the makeup, the beauty. Beauty, makeup, I don't know. Yeah, so camping. Lipstick lover. Yeah, and so a lot of the other ones I'll do is work from home, 
earn income, make money, Those are good ones. business opportunity, because you're going to also have people out there that are looking for a business opportunity, mm -hmm. a way to make extra money. So put those in there too, business opportunity and so forth. Um, but, oh, and Instagram, they have a new thing now where you can shoot videos. So I think it's a five second video, five second video. So you can put together a little video, whether it's a demo, you know, the mug kissing, something that's going to catch their attention. And people like videos that are of you that you're posting too. So. Even a quick demo, like how a lot of girls, Lindsay goes and follows them. That's another good thing. Share about how you follow girls that are doing a video and you'll watch and you'll comment. Yeah. Comment on, on a lot of pictures and videos that helps. So go and watch um, people's makeup, maybe tutorials and stuff like that. And then they're going to see that you're liking what they like. And guess what? They're going to come back and like your page and they're mm -hmm. going to notice. Oh, I and when they follow this. you, follow them back. Yeah. <laughs> and like a couple of their things. And then it creates that yeah. like connection. There's a yeah. connection there. And then they start to watch what you're doing. And next thing you know, I mean, I've had girls, I, I'll put on their, you know, the color of the day kind of thing. And they'll comment, oh, I love this. How can I get it or whatever? And then I'll send them my link, how to get over to my Facebook group. So mm -hmm. that's what you really want to be putting in your... When I put in my description, I'll put in... Um, on the very bottom, after I've done all my hashtags, I'll say, come join my Coffee and Kisses with Tracy Facebook group. And I'll even hashtag Facebook and Coffee and the yeah. Kisses. And then I'll say, come join it to have a chance to win some free product. Or a lot of your... Um giveaways that I do, I'll say, if I post it on Facebook, I'll say, you have to go follow my Instagram. Or if I post it on Instagram, I say, you have to follow my Facebook. And that's just getting you followers mm -hmm. on both sides. Exactly. That's awesome. So awesome. Okay. One more last tip before I forget is, um, to really create that connection with somebody when someone, this is what this Instagram girl taught me. When someone likes your post, you're going to go, there's a spot I'm, I'll have to find it. It's on the top right when you click on your profile where you can go and message that person and you can actually say, thanks for liking my post. And then you're going to put in there, you know, I'm a mom. For me, I'd put in there, I'm a mom of five and we love to travel and just a little bit about myself. Look forward to getting to know you. That's it. Like, it's just a little connection and I've started doing that and I'm starting to get messages back and they're like, oh, well, thank you for that. And, you know, they tell me a little bit about themselves and next thing you know, you feel like you've got a connection and you're going to stick around and watch each other and support each other. So that's one key thing you've got to do. It takes a little more time, but, you know, going there and messaging building them. building connections. Yeah, or even, like Lindsay was saying, you can comment. If you comment even on there, thanks for liking my post. Yeah. It, then they see it one more time and they say it takes three times for somebody to purchase something. They've seen it three times. So if you, they come and like, and you comment and say, hey, thanks for liking, they're seeing it two times. So that's a really good thing. Yeah. Any other things you can think about? No. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So lay in your bed at night. Make it a habit every night. Like, like, like. Like, comment. like, like. <laughs> comment. Add at least four to five pictures in there. You know, make it creative. It's Quotes. super easy. Oh, yeah. It takes, takes like a couple minutes two each seconds. day. And guess what? They have filters if you want to look really pretty. <laughs> right? Yeah. You can filter yourself up. So that's our tips for you. Thanks for stopping and watching. Again, really simple to get started. So go and start hashtagging. Right? And follow our pages. Follow our pages, yeah. Yours is Classy Kisses Classy by Lindsay. Classy Kisses by Lindsay. And I don't even know what mine is. I'll have to put it in the, I'll have to put it in the bottom. <laughs> I think it's Tracy Wagner. Oh, there you something. go. Dream big. Probably Tracy Wagner, dream big. All right. See you later, ladies. Bye. Bye.